Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. So this video is just going to be me showing you a couple days in my life. Um, I, we're gonna have a very exciting day tomorrow on Friday because we're heading to San Francisco. We're going to the city. Um, I'll explain more of that tomorrow, but tonight I'm gonna get ready and have dinner with my family. We're gonna go to I China, which is like this new restaurant that opened up in the closest mall that we have. And I don't know, we have those events coming up and I've also wanted to update you guys on some new items that I have for winter that I really love and just show some Christmas related content as well. Okay, O-O-T-N. This is so basic. Like, <laughs> I just had this like, outfit in my head for a while um i don't know i really like simple outfits like this that you like kind of dress up with accessories so this top is brandy melville i've had this since high school jeans are levi's i don't really remember the style of it but belt or mess and then i have my bracelet my carte isn't on right now because i just ha finished football season and i was not allowed to have any jewelry on so I unscrewed that for basically all of fall, so I'll be putting that on later on, but that's why this is like the only bracelet on my wrist right now, but yeah. <laughs> oh, and also I wanted to give like background on what like iChina is. I was trying so hard to make a reservation like the past weeks, but I keep missing the time frame because you're only allowed to make a reservation like before 12 and I had like school, so it was like, wasn't like on the forefront of my mind but i was able to make it today and they have a prefix menu so it's going to be six courses and then we choose one of two for the main entree so i'm just going to show you guys that but it's really cool place if i could i'll insert pictures in the video right now to show you guys like kind of what i china is and the vibe of it but i think what like drew me to it was the private dining experience which i've don't think I'm ever gonna do because it's so expensive but basically they have a VR room and then they just like project all these like fun sceneries but yeah we're eating there tonight okay quickly before we head out I just unbasic well it's still kind of basic I just added more to my outfit so now I have the leather blazer on and then black leather booties so this is why I love jackets they can dress up an outfit anyways gonna head to dinner now But that's not that, that's not like a it's set not, course like we have here. Or it's not like a. It's not a prefix course. Yeah, menu. this one is a six. Yeah. Also, it like looks nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's like so dark. Yeah. Yeah, it's so nice, guys. Look at this. It's so beautiful inside. And then you have the windows. Yep, we have the best spot. Alright, this is all for express coming down, so which is our Cheerio donuts. The one facing you which is our uh, stickers with uh, vinegar pearls on your right, which is lobster dum uh, dumpling with scallop and caviar on top. On your left, crispy taro puff with apple compote. This one? On your left. Oh, okay. so this, oh, this one. one. The crispy, Daddy, yeah. oh, crispy taro puff <laughs> okay. with apple compote. Enjoy. Thank you. Seafood hot sour soup with snow crab, cloud mushrooms, shrimp tofu, and on top of have cilantro and hot chili. Oh, that's a hot chili. Thank, Thank you. you. Also, this is the soup? Yeah. Oh, okay. And that orange thing is the hot chili oil. Ginger leaves, braised eggplant with scallion gel, and 
then in the bowls in front of you, we have the egg soaked rice. Oh, okay. This is going to have uh, duck breast, duck pongee, and duck egg. If you want to enjoy this with your soup, you can put the lid back on to keep it clean. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. Here we have course five coming down. It's gonna be our filet mignon, features crispy salads and not healthy mushrooms. And for you men, we have the A5 white here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour a black truffle peppercorn sauce to enhance your steak with, okay? Okay. Okay. Does the A5? Pour away from the wagon just in case you want. That's your um, let me say that's your A5 Wagyu. I got the A5 Wagyu. I think it was the first time to actually like try it. And it's like butter. Mm, pretty good. That's good. So Melody here has <laughs> steak to daddy. What can you tell about it that? It's pretty good. We have our final course coming down. It's going to be our desserts, the milk chocolate for Lou. It's going to feature a coconut mousse beer on top, mandarin orange shell on the side. Right, please enjoy. Thank you. Give me just a second, I need your attention I need your attention, baby Why, 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 why? Can't I get, can't I get Them to ever see us, them to just believe us, baby They will hear us If they don't know us They gon' hear us oh, They gon' hear us And I promise that They gon' hear us Hear us San Francisco now at the Plaza Hotel and we palace. just oh <gasps> palace <laughs> at the palace hotel um and we just ate at the garden court um you'll see clips of that it was really pretty though and then now we're just hanging out waiting for our parents my parents to finish up at the consulate but yeah you can see the hallways so cute okay so this hotel has its own little museum area. It's really tiny, but I've never seen a hotel have like their own historical section. We started off going to the outlet mall. I totally forgot to record there because I was just very much in the moment. There were a bunch of like designer stores that opened up like Saint Laurent and like Montclair. So we went to those. Didn't get anything from there though. <laughs> but, uh, it was a nice visit because we haven't been there in a while. And we ate lunch at a Thai place like across the street from the outlet. I recorded clips from there and now I'm all bundled up at home because I'm gonna help my dad set up Christmas lights. We did these blue ones yesterday. 
But then we had to, or my dad tested out all these. These are old. They, we had, they had to be tested to see if they still work. And it looks like these ones do. I want to hang them up on the ceiling, but I guess we just don't have nails. Um, and like the, that area. So we might just like put it around the window. But yeah, you can kind of see our like tree from the inside. Oh, I love the aesthetic. Oh, it's my baby cousin. Let me see. Oh, ah! <laughs> you guys have not met Leilani yet, but that's my baby cousin. She's inside. Oh, lay, time, lay down time. <laughs> She always tries to get up. That's why her head is like just moving like that. Anyways, Christmas okay, so light time. Okay, so like I just mentioned in the last couple clips, we just got back from the outlet today and I got a couple of items and it just reminded me to do like a little haul because I love doing these um, of the things that I got since Black Friday. So I'm just going to show the items and mention like the sales that went on with it. So, first things first, I'll start with what I wore today. This is an oversized long length teddy coat. I have it in an extra, extra small petite. And this wasn't a part of like the Black Friday hot sale. Um, like, I would say like, like a week and a half later after the, the Black Friday sale. They had like a 40% off plus 15% off select items and this is one of them. So I ended up getting this cheaper than if I would have bought this during Black Friday. So this was like 180 to 114. This is the next item. It's another coat. You're just gonna see everything from like Abercrombie is a coat. So I just went on a whole coat rampage. Um, but I got this. This is in the size extra small petite. I was able to get my regular size. I sized down for the last coat because it's just huge. If I got my actual size, I'd be drowning in it. Um, but this one I'm fine getting my normal size because it isn't that oversized. Another long length. It's not lined at all, so I think it's perfect for the California weather. And this one I got during Black Friday. It ended up being like 120. I don't remember the original price, but yeah, this is ended up being 120-ish. And then I, I really love like how casual this one can be compared to like the teddy coat that I just showed. Like I feel like I can wear this with like leggings, like my skull knit tank, the black one from Aritzia that I wore in my Catalina vlog. So I can really dress this down. And I'd be fine with like the tank because it is California, so I just have like that good quality jacket and like a tank top, you'd be fine. Um, last thing I got, I also got this during one during the same time I got that last coat. It is another teddy coat, but it's shorter this time. And the color is like slightly different because it's just darker, it's more warm tone. And then these collars are a bit more like dramatic. So even though it's like shorter, I feel like this is a bit more fancy because of the collars. And this is an extra small. They don't have like petite or tall for these ones because it's just like that. It's just a shorter coat. Um, but yeah, I have this one. My mom really likes it. She's been using it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the last thing I got from Abercrombie. Oh, I also forgot to mention when I got this and the other oversized not oversized but this coat both of these were from black friday and i think they were having a 30 percent off sale 30 or 20. but sometimes i feel like you just have to wait for an even better one like for that other teddy coat like the 40 percent off plus 50 percent off because that was way better than just like 20 or 30. So the next place I got things from was Aritzia, and I feel like they're notorious for not having like the best discounts. Like, I definitely only saved like $5 per item, but that's because these are like their like classic items, like the ones that always sell out. 
So, you know, I took what I could get. And I got two things. This, more white. This is the same style as my black one that I wore in Catalina to go travel back home. Um, but I got it in a double extra small. My black one is an extra small. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference between the sizes, but yeah. Since it fit the same, I just got this in the double extra small. And I just really love the quality of these tanks. Um, the next one is like the same type of material. It's the Sculptnet tank again, but the style is slightly different with this. Like, <laughs> I hope you guys can imagine how you would wear this. It looks like that. It's in the chocolate brown color. It's called Coffee Bean. And this is in an extra small. So I'm just kind of all over the place with the sizes with these tanks. But honestly, it's really hard to tell the difference between double extra small and extra small. So again, took what I can get. So another store that I went to, which ended up not even being on sale because it was slightly after Black Friday, is this corset tank from Zara. And it's so weird that I only have like one item from Zara um, because I really love shopping there and it's usually my go-to spot, but I definitely went ham and Abercrombie, so that's why you only see like a tank top from Zara. Um, but yeah, it's just this corset top. I was just drawn to it because A, it was like the last one and it was like, whenever something's like in the last, it's like last in its size, it's like the last in extra small I'm gonna really want it because it's like a sign for me to get it especially if I like love the design it's 100% I'm gonna get it um even if I'm like kind of on the fence sometimes I'm just like it's meant to be <laughs> so I have this corset top and I've been wanting a corset top for like a while so I have that so the next store is an online store it's Princess Polly and I don't usually order from Princess Polly because obviously it's online and I just really like to like try on the things that I buy um it's not my usual go-to spot to order things so I'm not like an expert in guessing my size but I mean I just went on there anyways because they were having a Black Friday sale I think it was like 20% off so I bought like Aritzia the same thing but just like different colors just these like basic skirts like, I really love my brandy one that's, like, the similar cut, but it's, like, patterned, like, I don't know, check patterned? I don't know. They were, like, really popular years ago when I was in high school, so I have these now, which are more basic, and I can wear it more with everything. And then this black one, basically the same thing. And what else? Oh, I also... I uh, got something from Sephora, which is right here. <laughs> it is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc perfume. I saw it got really popular, or like just Tom Ford's like perfumes, specifically Lost Cherry. It got super viral on like TikTok, so I really wanted to smell it. But then when I started looking at the brand and stuff, I saw that they had this, and I'm much more of a person that wants to smell like a resort like the beach so I kind of just got drawn to this more also I smell lost cherry and it's not my favorite scent I don't know how it's so popular um it's also my feelings for Chanel number no. five it's not my most favorite scent but it's really popular I don't know but I like this one so this is what I got this is from Sephora they had 20% off on a full size fragrance so I just took advantage of that Okay, so I don't know why the audio cut out, out of this clip, but I'm basically introducing Maj, which is the only store I got something from in the mall that day. They had 50% off their collection, so I have this. I don't know if it's, like, hard to see. There's, like, a v-neck, and then that open back. Really cute. And then I feel like this is a pattern with the last things I bought, but... Um, same pattern, just different colors, or like, kind of like the same design, kind of, but this is a dress, it's white, long sleeve this time, kind of has like a balloon sleeve kind of design, and then you have the buttons in the front, I'm so sorry, you 
I feel like you can barely see it, the design, but yeah. Like the other one, this is 50% off. So, I'm really excited to use this on my upcoming trip. Um, this is definitely something like I wouldn't normally grab for, but I don't see this like pattern and cuts and design a lot, so I really got drawn to it. I love really like unique pieces, even though it's not under my like style category, like you know how my coats are all neutrals and stuff, and like basically all the other items are like neutrals. If something like pops like in my vision and I think it's like really unique I'm still gonna like it anyways because I really love unique pieces that I don't see a lot so that's why I got those <laughs> but yeah that is my haul and everything that I've got since Black Friday. I almost forgot to mention the things that we got from H&M Home and it's just this face and then these two fashion books um, they were having a 20% off Black Friday sale, but since my birthday is around the time Black Friday is, they gave me a personal like discount code to use. And then since I'm a student, I got to use that discount code. So it was just like three discounts on all these things. And usually fashion books are very expensive, but got to save a lot because of all the discounts with H&M. Um, this vase honestly sold out very quickly like in the white but i think the black is fine because it matches the chanel book and you kind of saw like the images that they put on the website and it matches so we just have those okay guys it's sunday now and we did more shopping at the mall to get more christmas presents and we were driving and we passed by this like i don't know this winter like Christmassy event that our city Shut up. 